I have this chalkboard tag that I got from Hobby Lobby. It was $8.99, and they do this section of their decor 50% off. So I got it for a reasonable price, and I'm going to start by using some Wise Owl Stain Eliminating Primer as my first coat. And then once that is fully dry, I then took some of the Wise Owl Snow Owl and went on top of it, and you can see that this gave much better coverage. I had this small little galvanized windmill that I also believe I found at Hobby Lobby and I'm going to use some of my one hour enamel clear and just go over the entire area and once that is dry I'm then going to take some small black letter stickers and on every other blade of the windmill I'm going to add a word. Now I did pick smaller words like be kind, love, say sorry, and laugh. And you could pick any words of your choice that will fit on these blades nicely. So this is what we have once the sticker is attached to the blades. I'm then going to take some bigger laser cut wood letters and they're going to spell out house rules. And I'm just sticking them on the tape so that way when I spray paint them they are not moving all over the place. I have my Krylon Shortcuts Black Spray Paint and I'm just going to give these a coat of the black. Once my tag was dry I took a sandpaper to it and I just gave it a light distressing. Mostly going around the edges bringing out some of the original black that was underneath. You can distress this as much or as little as you'd like and you can pick another color, you don't even have to distress. But I do want to make sure I remove all that sanding dust, so I just used a baby wipe. And then I'm going to apply a coat of the Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Clear. I'm using the matte finish, they also have a satin or a semi-gloss as well. To attach my windmill to the top, I have some E6000 and a small amount of hot glue and this just fit perfectly in that little tag hole area. And then I'm going to use some wood glue, we like the Elmer's wood glue to attach the house rules to the bottom portion of the tag. So I'm just using my straight edge ruler so that way I can try to get this on here as straight and even as possible. So I just dab a small amount onto the back side and I'm just attaching my letters. I then have this Morning Farmhouse Small Transfer. You can find these on chalkitupfancy.com and they have this really pretty flower on it, and this is totally optional, but I'm just going to add the flower to the bottom. You can add a stencil or another transfer of your choice as well. When I remove the protective backing and lay it down on my surface, I'm just going to take a popsicle stick and rub on top of the clear sheet, and as I rub, the image will adhere to the surface. I then flipped it over. They already had little hangers on the back and I'm just going to take a small piece of jute and just tie it across and this will be a way that you can hang it on the wall without having to use both hangers. You could just hang it by the jute. And there we go. Now we just have this really cute farmhouse house rule sign. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials on our webpage as well. Have a great day.